I'm Dan Johnson talking to David Cooper, who is going to tell me about Minimax. Now, there's a lot to cover here because you have a lot of different models. So why don't we do a little review of the models first, David, and let's start with your smallest one and go up to what we're looking at here. Well, what we have in the smallest one is the two ultralight models, which is the 1030F, which is an ultralight, and then we have the 1100 uh, Minimax, which is an ultralight also, but that one can be upgraded to light sport depending on the engine package. And then uh, we have a 1500R Sport, which is an open cockpit, Okay. a 1650 Eros, which is an enclosed cockpit, a 1700 Hi-Max, which is a high wing, and we have an Aeromax, which is only 14 inches wide, which we brought here about four or five years ago. Okay, so there's the review of the line from Minimax. You're still supplying all of these? We're still supplying kits for all of those, and we also supply uh, the accessories available for those kits, like okay. the engine instrument package and all your paints. We supply everything that you're going to need to complete your build, uh, and we still offer plans built. Uh, do you sell plans for we, all the models? We sell the plans for $99, and if you want to just even print your own plans, you can order digital copy for $45. And this is a primarily wood project. A lot of people feel more comfortable working with wood, so they might feel like, yeah, I could do this thing, and I could cut my own parts, and I could do that part. Now, for a lot of people, they're going to want a kit so they can get through it quicker and get flying, but there's some craftsmen out there that probably do want to do plans. And, and it helps because we have all the available woods that are necessary for the build, and you're not going to have to go out and try to learn how to select the proper woods and materials needed. Many years ago, I visited uh, Team Minimax when it was down in uh, Tennessee, and Wayne Eisen was still with us and uh, visited there. I saw how much they rejected of wood. They brought it. They already bought what they thought was the right stuff, and they had to look at every piece and go, "Nope, this one's not going to do it." There's a lot of wood that goes into the trash. Right, so they can get a full kit on it. All right, now. That covers the whole line, all available. On, on what kind of timeline are all the different models available? Uh, we're, left, we're right around three weeks out on getting kits out. That's uh, it? Okay, that's so that's it. pretty quick. Can they buy a partial kit first and get going with it, or all, do you buy sell them the whole kit? All of our kits are broke down into sub kits to help spread out the cost of it. Okay. And that is everything from the ultralights all the way up to our newest two plates. Good enough. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the build job now. And we'll, we'll assume a kit, not plans. In fact, getting the maximum you can do for somebody. Uh, quick build, I don't know if you call it a quick build kit or anything, but tell me the approximate build time for, uh, let's pick up, not, not this bigger guy, but one of the other projects uh, that somebody might want to buy. All of our single place kits, you're looking about 250 to 300 hours okay, to build. Okay, not so bad. And and you, if you're a more experienced builder and have uh, better tools, you can get it done quicker. Numbers, uh, about 400 hours for somebody that's never understood plans, uh, worked with any tools, any saws, uh, and hand tools and things like that. Uh, 400 hours, and that all they got to do is give us a call, and we'll give them guidance. Okay, great. Do you have build centers as well, David? We, we actually do, and you can come right to the factory, and we'll help you build a section of the plane to give you a good understanding of how it's done so that you can continue on with your build with ease. Okay, great. Where are you located, David? We're located at 2030 Lake Street, Niles, Michigan. Niles, Michigan, and that's okay. right at the Jerry Tyler Memorial Airport. Okay, and uh, give me a, a city that people might know that you're uh, not too far from. Uh, Notre Dame, South Bend, Indiana, no. we're northeast of there. Okay, so 
actually you're pretty centrally located in the country for people to come and see you there. And right about the bottom side of the Lake Michigan. All right, there you go. Bottom end of Lake Michigan. That's where they find you. All right, now let's let's, let's talk about this product here because this is a, uh, most of the Mini Maxes are single seaters. Yes. They here are. we got a side by side two seater. Looks like a pretty big boy airplane to me too. This is our whitest version. It's a 40 inch wide cockpit. 40 inches. Okay. And they can offer bubble doors to have. 44 inch wide cockpit. All right. And it will carry two 230 pound pilots, 13.6 <laughs> gallons of fuel, with an 85 horse uh, Hummel VW engine. Okay. With a three and a half gallon burn. Uh, you'll get some good See, flight that's, time. Those are all pretty good numbers, what you just said and, there. I mean, and that's... you also have 30 to 50 pounds of baggage. So In addition to all that, and it still stay that. within weight. And, and we're, we're looking under 700 pounds, empty weight. And gross weight of 1250. 1250. Okay, so you got you got a, a good bit of payload in there. And the thing about this kit is it has the aluminum spring gear. Yeah, nice, very stout, tires, big tires. Hydraulic disc brakes, dual controls. It'd be a great one for instruction. Um, the engine is dual plug, dual ignition, electric start, charging system, has car P. Give me a little sort of sample demo flight by language alone. Uh, Takeoff roll, climb rate, We've assuming full gross. About uh, 250 to 300 uh, takeoff roll. Oh. And the cruise speed is going to be around 90. 90, okay. And How about climb rate? Climb rate is, is going to be somewhere around 7,800. 7,800 feet per minute. You know, those are all very strong numbers out of an 80 horsepower engine with a low fuel burn. Three and a half gallons an hour, you said. Correct. Yeah, that's a cruise, I'm presuming. Yes. So a climb, you're going to burn up, burn through a little more. Yes. But once you get up at altitude, 90 miles an hour, three and a half gallons an hour, is that about right? That sounds correct. Okay, so that's those are good numbers. And the other thing about this kit that helps it build fast is the wing kit and the appendage kit ah. have laser cut parts. Oh, they do? Okay. So and they're all labeled for you, so you know exactly where that part goes throughout your belt. So you're just you're doing more assembly work than fabrication work. Exactly. Okay. And the fuselage and, and the appendage also full scale drawings. Ah, okay. So you're still using full scale drawings. So built for those that don't know what that means, I was surprised when I first heard about it. Put the part right on the plan. Exactly. And you know you got it right because there it is. It's, exactly. There's no mistaking it. And the left right problems that sometimes happen. It's yes. all solved then. We're hoping that the 185 for everything but paint, that your engine is spent prop. Is that right? Better. That's why I had to ask again. Under twenty thousand dollars. Under twenty thousand. Good bit under twenty thousand dollars, enough to cover the paint for the most part. Uh, for a whole airplane. For the entire a airplane. A two-seat yeah. airplane with those capabilities you just described. Exactly. And if you if you can get a picture of the instrument panel, we left room in there for a nice 10-inch iPad. Ah, is that right? Very good. Well, I'm impressed. I, I keep looking at it and kind of surprising because I think of Mini Max is a smaller airplane. It's, I've flown several of them, I love them, but, but they're all but smaller airplanes, not this big guy. The one thing that hasn't changed is the Mini Max theme, and that's minimum cost, maximum fun. Yep, well, I see that, and you've got some very attractive pricing there. That makes for affordable aviation, which is kind of the space that I like to serve, and good on you for doing that. That's a lot of information, David. Thank you for all of that. But I may not have asked the question in somebody's mind, so how do they find you on the web? And we'll put it up on the screen for them. And and also anybody can call me anytime with any questions. I answer 24/7. We have over 5,000 aircraft around the world. Is that right? Okay. And what's the web address? TeamMiniMax.com. There you go. 5,000 airplanes. One of the larger productions of airplanes anywhere. There's a few there's a few brands that are higher than that, but not very many. Not That's very a great many. job. We've been around for a while. A lot of Minimaxes out there. And I've flown several, as I've said. You can find information about them or all other kinds of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining David Cooper and myself here at AirVenture Oshkosh.